Hey guys, welcome back to Augie and Me. Today we're going to be reading the Julian chapter. The chapter within that that we're reading is titled Mr. Tushman. It starts on page 11 and goes to page 14. Mr. Tushman came into the office. He was tall, kind of thin, with messy gray hair. Hey guys, he said, smiling. I'm Mr. Tushman. You must be Charlotte. He shook Charlotte's hand. And you are? He looked at me. Julian, I said. Julian, he repeated, smiling. He shook my hand, and you're Jack Will. He said to Jack and shook his hand, too. He sat down on the chair next to Nurse Molly's desk. First of all, I just want to thank you guys so much for coming here today. I know it's a hot day, and you probably have other stuff you want to do. How's the summer been treating you? Okay. We all kind of nodded, looking at each other. How's the summer been for you? I asked him. Oh, so nice of you to ask, Julian, he answered. It's been a great summer, thank you, though I am seriously looking forward to the fall. I hate this hot weather. He pulled his shirt. I'm so ready for the winter. All three of us were bobbing our heads up and down like doof balls at this point. I don't know why grown-ups ever bother chit-chatting with kids. It just makes us feel weird. I mean, I personally am pretty okay talking to, to adults. Maybe because I travel a lot and I've talked to a lot of adults before. But most kids really don't like talking to grown-ups. That's just the way it is. Like, if I see the parent of some friend of mine and we're not actually in school, I try to avoid eye contact so I don't have to talk to them. It's too weird. It's also really weird when you bump into a teacher outside of school. Like, one time I saw my third grade teacher at a restaurant with her boyfriend and I was like, Ew. I don't want to see my teacher hanging out with her boyfriend, you know? Anyway, so there we were, me, Charlotte, and Jack nodding away like total bobbleheads as Mr. Tishman went on and on about the summer. But finally, finally, he got to the point. So guys, he said, kind of slapping his hands against his thighs, it's really nice of you, too, to give up your afternoon to do this. In a few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the boy who's coming to my office. I just wanted to give you a heads up about him beforehand. I mean, I told your moms a little bit about him. Did they talk to you? Charlotte and Jack both nodded, but I shook my head. My mom just said he had a bunch of surgeries, I said. Well, yes, answered Mr. Tishman, but she explained about his face. I have to say, this is the point when I started thinking, okay, what the heck am I doing here? I mean, I don't know, I said, scratching my head. I tried to think back to what Mom had told me. I had really paid attention. I hadn't really paid attention. I think most of the time she was going on and on about what an honor it was that I'd been chosen. She really didn't emphasize that there was something wrong with the kid. She said that you said that the kid had a lot of scars and stuff, like he's been in a fire. I didn't quite say that, said Mr. Tishman, raising his eyebrows. What I told your mom is that this boy has a severe chronofacial difference. Oh, right, 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 I interrupted. But now I remembered. She did use that word. She said it was like the cleft lip or something. Mr. Trishman scrunched up his face. Well, he said, lifting his shoulders and tilting his head left and right. It's a little more than that. He got up and patted my shoulder. I'm sorry if I didn't make that clear to your mom. In any case... I don't mean to make this awkward for you. In fact, it's exactly because I don't want it to be awkward that I'm talking to you right now. I just wanted to give you a heads up. This boy definitely looks very different from the other children, and that's not a secret. He knows he looks different. He was born that way. He gets that. He's a great kid, very smart, very nice. He's never gone to a regular school before because he was homeschooled, you know, because of all his surgeries. So that's why I just want you guys to show him around a bit. Get to know him. Be his welcome buddies. You can totally ask him questions if you want. Talk to him normally. He's really just a normal kid with, with a face that, you know, it's not so normal. He looked, us, he looked at us and took a deep breath. <sighs> oh boy, I think I've just made you all more ner nervous, haven't I? We shook our heads. He rubbed his forehead. You know, he said, one of the things you learn when you get old like me 
is that sometimes a new situation will come along and you'll have no idea what to do. There's no rule book that tells you how to act in every given situation in life. You know, so what I always say is that it's always better to err on the side of kindness. That's the secret. If you don't know what to do, just be kind. You can't go wrong, which is why I asked you three to help me out here. Because I've heard from your lower school teachers that you're really nice kids. We didn't know what to say to this. So we all just kind of smiled like goobers. Just treat him like you would treat any kind kid you've just met. He said, that's all I'm trying to say. Okay, guys? We nodded at the same time now, too. Bobbling heads. You guys rock, he said. So relax. Wait here a bit. And Miss Garcia will come and get you guys in a few minutes. He opened the door and, guys, really, thanks again for doing this. It's good karma to do good. It's a misva, you know? With that, he smiled, winked at us, and left the room. The three of us ex exhaled at the same time. We looked at each other, our eyes kind of wide. Okay, Jack said, I don't know what the heck karma is, and I don't know what the heck mitzvah is. This made us all laugh a little, though it was kind of a nervous type of laugh. And that wraps up that chapter. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you next time.